Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here in a Pano to 360 ThingLink I made uh, to show you alt text and accessibility in ThingLink. Now this will work with really most ThingLinks, especially the images. I'm just in this panoramic one, this 360 one real quick. Let's talk about a couple things. Now, one, whenever you look at any entry that has text, you always have immersive reader, of course. Great, so you always have that capability. Additionally, when you're sharing a thing link with students, you can click share and then accessibility, copy that link, let's open it in a new tab. And you'll notice a very different version of the thing link. We're gonna talk more about this version in a second and how to empower students to generate this for themselves without you having to even go to that link. So let's get in there and let's edit. And I'll get into that one right there. And notice whenever you add an image, uh, this is what the, if we actually, if we go to add tag and I'm talking specifically over here about text and media, I actually just do that real quick. So I'll upload a file. And then what I can do is hover over, get the three dots, and here you get your caption. And your alt text icon. And click done. And that's how we do that. We hover over and we do that. But let's now talk about a more accessibility settings. So click on done go into settings and there you're going to look for this accessibility icon you're going to want to turn this on and now students when they look at this scene or any viewer so we'll click done they now have this button here guess what that button opens this amazing view right here and that view comes with an awesome menu of features. So notice it lays all the stuff you've thrown out uh, just in a scroll, you know, real quick. This is the base image right here. So I'll change this. Let's see, let's get down here. Let's go. So many choices. Let's go Espanol. And so notice it goes that everything's Spanish now in the menu here in the actual text, it stays English, but we'll go back to English to make that easier to navigate. There are accessibility profiles that you can choose. You can use these oversized widgets. You can use the screen reader. You can change your contrast. Look at the contrast. How about that? I'll just turn that off. There's even a smart contrast feature. You can highlight links, bigger text. So make it bigger and bigger. Text spacing you can change. Uh, you can hide images and pause animations. You can make it dyslexic, uh, you know, that open dyslexic font. Uh, you can play with your cursor. Look at that, all sorts of cool stuff there. Let me turn these off. And you can also play with line height, use a dictionary, play with saturation, and you can move this widget to left, hide or right here i'll make it back to right again right really is the best one and you can reset all the settings as well this accessibility menu and this accessibility version of thing links that you can turn on the ability for students to see so powerful so useful take advantage of that take advantage of all text and thing link if you have any questions about this please comment below or tweet me at tom e Mullaney. please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching